Hello Sports fans, Rebo here again for Caravel Gaming. Um, somebody wanted to look at my stats, so <laughs> here's my stats at the moment. As you can see, still not played any constructed. Got a couple of priest quests to do today, so maybe I'll take priest if it's offered. Uh, and as we can see from this, Pally and Shaman, um, my most well, ooh, warrior. My warrior's my most played. Paladin Shaman second. Priest up there as well, and obviously uh, avoiding <laughs> to like the plague, cause I just don't think it's that interesting. Anyway, let's crack on. Uh, had a fun little thing the other day on. Um, I think it was the official Hearthstone forum, someone said, uh, Ribbo is bad because he keeps forgetting to buff his dagger on Rogue videos. You know, I mean, they patched it out three weeks ago, so I don't know exactly how I'm supposed to buff my dagger, but... I appreciate you having a go at me for not doing something that isn't in the game. <laughs> Ribbo should be able to hack the game and do illegal things. That's why I don't like him. Anyway, we have a uh, rogue pally druid. Hmm. Well, we've got a pally daily. So I guess we just play more pally, right? Pally is fun and awesome. And obviously this guy, Defender of Argus. Super solid. <laughs> Every time I uh, <coughs> draft Twilight Drakes, my opponent just silences them. And it makes me sad. But, uh, he's a solid enough guy. Um, I actually don't mind Blessing of Might. I used to not like this card too much, but then, when you think of it in terms of you make a 1-1 one, one with your hero's ability and turn it into a 4-1 and beat up something big. It's actually not that bad. You know, um, so if your opponent has spent like 5 mana on uh, a big guy, you know, Blessing of Might often allows you to spend 1 mana to uh, deal with it. Especially if it's something like the remnants of uh, a harvest golem or something that creates a little buddy on the side, like... Um, um, like the hunter with the little boar on the side or the 4-4 four -four paladin with the 2-2 two -two sidekick. Um, so I'm going to take a blessing of might there. Pauses are me um, coughing a lot. Obviously, the shield master here. Uh, both these cards are absolutely fine for Paladin decks. Spikeful Smith, a bit of a beast at a 4 6 or 5, you know, solid body. And Frost Elemental, uh, also very nice uh, tempo switching card. Um, I'm going to take the Frost Elemental because we don't have any weapons yet. If I'd picked up, say, two, two of the smaller Paladin weapons, the uh, one mana drops, then I'd definitely go with the Spiteful Smith. Um, Deckhand is okay. Direwolf Alpha is okay, but I'd rather get towards my better cards in my deck. So I'm going to take a Blessing of Wisdom there. Uh, all three cards are absolutely solid and perfectly fine, but we're going to take the Razor Fen Hunter for this very reason of the Blessing of Might. So if we can turn like a 1-1 one, one boar into a 4-1 take out a big guy, I consider that a success. Obviously the true silver champ, because it's crazy. And obviously the Acidic Swamp Ooze, because it's all so crazy. Uh, 
Uh, this is awesome being offered two Swamp Oozes. Very nice start. Um, not a huge fan of any of these cards, to be honest. Looking like being the Abomination. However, it doesn't really suit my kind of deck to have him. As I do like to curve out, I like to have minions in play. Maybe we just go with the 7-5 here, it feels pretty weak, but... I actually don't mind Guardian Kings, I mean it's not great, but it's not terrible either. The Farseer has his moments, like if you get lucky and you get to start a turn with him in play and you can Blessing of Kings him or something like that, then he starts to get pretty ridiculous. But maybe just another Blessing of Might here. And definitely Noble Sacrifice, I do like this card a lot. Obviously the champion, because he's just, he's just absolutely nuts. Another easy pick with the Argent Protector. And a nice little Blessing of Kings as well. So we don't have anything at 5 mana yet, which is why I'm going to go with the Tiger. And another Stormwind Champ. Well, I really like Dark Iron Dwarf. I also really like Harvest Golem. We have a, a fair bit going on at four mana here, four cards already, so I'm going to pass up this guy just to take the Golem and sort of uh, improve my mana a bit better. Uh, I think it has to be the Sunwalker. Like, the Injured Blade Master is uh, solid, but Sunwalker's just too much of a bomb to pass up. That was an easy enough pick. Didn't really need much thought there. Um, Hand of Protection is probably the best of a bad bunch of cards. So, you know, you can use it, like, if you've got, you know, you put your Tiger in play because it's got stealth, and the next turn you can stick a hand of protection on it and beat something up. So it's a nice, uh, aggressive card. Again, three pretty much um, poor choices here. Uh, I'm not a fan of Acolyte of Pain. I generally don't think it's good enough. So I'm going to have to take the Rifleman. I really don't like it, but... I think I'm going to take a one drop. So we just need to, you know, flesh this out with a few more expensive cards here. Looks like being the owl, we need some silences. This is a pretty poor choice we've got here, really. Another owl this is. Oh, definitely a, another weapon if it's offered. Never turn those down. And to finish it off, well, a nice little knife juggler. So, you know, quite a fast deck here. And most no no consecrations, but three true silver champions.
Luther versus Rexa. Let the hunt begin. I will fight with honor. Uh, we're going to throw the blessing and might back as well. It's not not ideal. Though you can abuse it with the Argent Protector, of course, by shielding something up, blessing of mighting it, and taking down a massive guy and keeping your guy alive for next turn. Someone call for the and if we're lucky, he makes a 3 2. If we're unlucky, he makes a 2 3. So it's not snipe, and it is not explosive trap. For justice. So it is, of course, a snake trap. Nice of him to do that. This is my the sun well. That's what I was talking about with the tiger, it's really good at that. I'll put it on your pen. Likewise with the blessing of might now we can take out his 5-4. So it really lets you turn the game around on tempo doing that. Summoning portal open. <laughs> Join or die or both. So I'm a little bit worried about uh, freezing trap here, 
but, you know, meh, he's got it. Explosive trap I can certainly work with. I hear you got a problem. Handle it! Just me and Mr. Bitey! <sighs> I am not a morning person. So this oh. one is fun. <laughs> Yep, that's a pretty big beating from those two guys that turn. So you can see how I spent one mana with the Blessing of Might, took out his... 5-4 that he'd spent 4 mana on. Well, you know, I'd spent like 2 mana the previous turn and 1 mana, so I was using 3 mana to take out something that cost 4 mana, so it's very efficient in that respect. So obviously there's no way I'm playing this Swampoos out without uh, first seeing a weapon. <coughs> you know, we've got a slow start, but... Drink with me, friend. Job done. This guy's particularly good, so even if he makes a fiery war axe here, we still have a 2-1 to show for it. Plan is to get this Stranglethorn Tiger out onto an empty board, really. So he's putting down his uh, weakest minion in the hope I'll destroy it with a weapon. Which, of course, I will. And I'll just play another weapon. For justice! I might have actually let him have the 2 2. Um, if I hadn't had drawn that other true silver champion the next turn. This is also a good spot because if he's got like an Argent Commander, he doesn't get any value from it. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be kidding me! As it is, I'm just gonna lob the Sunwalker down. Beat him up, really. Then, when he's forced to attack it with the 7 6, we can finish it off with a Hammer of Wrath or the weapon again.
Should have put the blessing of wisdom on there. Completely forgot about that. Then I was too busy coughing and choking. Ugh. Still feeling rotten, but uh, I'm going to make these videos anyway. What does the future hold? And obviously, we're taking out the two three here. And giving it some protection. Truth is my shame. Locked and loaded. So the game is close to over. He needs a brawl to get back into it. Which I think we can all accept uh, isn't going to happen. 6, 12, 16, 19, 22. Easy enough. That's my daily done as well. So again, the mirror match is all about getting control of the middle of the board. I prefer the Harvest Golem to the Razor Fen Hunter. It's got more um, versatility and it's a bit more resistant to consecrations and stuff like that. Terrible card for him to coin into there. Um, really just like an absolute waste of his turn, to be honest. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. So now he's used his coin and we have control in the middle of the board and with the true silver champion should be able to keep hold of it really. Magic shall not save you. For justice! Someone call for the Healing my guy up so he can't um, be killed from the consecration there. Demolish.
Polish is just a terrible Not card. Just an absolute terrible card. Really doesn't do anything at all. Be nice. So I guess we just uh, take him out with a blessing of might here. Because if we play the champion, um, if the knife juggler shoots him, we're forced to trade two of our guys for the 4 5, which I don't want to do. Reporting for duty. So at least uh, this way. I can get rid of my little dork. That would have died to a consecration anyway. Not a great use of his turn there. Wanna blow something up? Ah! Awesome. Behold the might of Soul Winds! To battle! Lens the sun well. And this one is over. Thank you. <laughs> so again, he didn't give himself a chance to get into the game because he coined out a 1 2 on turn 1. You know, he was so excited to get that extra card. that it, it just meant it was impossible for him to ever take control of the board. So I got to do lots of trades to my advantage, you know, my guy killing his small guy and my guy stays alive. So I get lots of card advantage off that, probably got like four, four card advantage off it because of it. Uther versus Anduin. Light shall bring victory. I will fight with honor. I'm going to go ahead and keep this. Greetings. Well met. Often if priests don't have a turn to play, they just have it, Ready you know, wasted action. completely. <laughs> and he's just drawn a footman that turn, that's pretty funny. We 
must cleanse the sun well. Just stick it out there, you know, we need a guy. Tempted to put a uh, hand of protection on my guy here because um, I figure if he uh, if he had um, shadow word pain, he would have done it the previous turn rather than playing out the four two. Can't lose from here now. He's just cast a mind blast. So this game's pretty much over. Push do anything to me at all so push forward <laughs> I hope you like my invention Risky play, beating him up for 11. <laughs> Reporting for duty. For justice. Yep. I was right to hold on the blessing of mites there. We have to watch out, obviously, for the mind control next turn, but I still feel this is probably absolutely fine. For justice. He still dies next turn, even if he mind controls here, because we just go double blessing of might on this guy and uh, make a weapon to kill him. <laughs> so sick. So, again, he just 
built way too slow of a deck, you know, um, put no pressure on me at all. A lot of priests do have that same uh, problem. They just think they can heal themselves until they get to 10 man and they can just drop an endless swarm of big guys and it doesn't work that way when you build your deck properly. I will fight with honor. So, uh, lovely draw there, getting the knife juggler. Mind if I roll knee? And we can definitely just make a 1-1 one, one here and force him to use his shapeshift ability. Um, if he wants to deal with the card. And then the turn after we can just make a raise a fen hunter. What to do? Well he's there, I just saw him highlight his 2-1, so. Maybe he's got a, an innovate, I guess. Hmm. Time waits for no one. And he suddenly realised it's my go. Reporting for duty. Nice. So this is cheeky now, because if he shapeshifts to get rid of my Noble Sacrifice, he's going to create a 2-1 a, a, a that potentially could then shoot down his 2-1, because the Knife Juggler's ability. So, um, even if he plays this correctly and shapeshifts to get rid of it, I've still got a 50% chance of keeping my Knife Juggler alive afterwards. Oh, it would have been funny if he shot the 2-1 there, because I would have kept a 2-1 a myself. Not on my watch. So I'm going to attack before creating a 1-1, so I don't uh, shoot the 3-2 afterwards. If uh, my knife juggler had shot the 3 2, then I would have created the 1 1 first. And obviously, we just make more guys. Wow. That's ridiculous. 1 in 8 chance. Really? That's absolutely ridiculous. The battle! <laughs> Can't believe that just happened. So crazy. Hey, get! This is my responsibility. So I had a one in eight chance of getting boned, and getting boned I did. Should have probably used a one one to take the shield off this guy, to be honest. For the crusade! My shield for Argus! Suck steel! Wow! The battle! The oh. battle! Oh. This is my responsibility.
So just a simple make guys beat him up game really, nothing much to it. And that's, I did that just to show you the use and the protection gets you, you know, if you just get in a situation where you're ahead, you know, it's one, it's basically it's one mana and you can do like four or five damage with it without altering the board position at all. So as a tempo card, um, I actually think it's pretty good. Especially when you use it on something with stealth, because, you know, so you're in a situation where you're behind, and you have to kill a guy. That lets you do it and keep your guy afterward. Uther versus Jaina. Because you obviously if you're behind with non-stealth minions, your opponent's just going to attack them all each turn and kill them off. Oh boy, this is like <laughs> these two against a mage are so weak. So so weak. Hello. Well met. <laughs> it's time for a little blood. Um What can I say? We definitely have to silence that, right? I mean, this is this is just a terrible situation for us in general here. Let me think. You know, there is no good way of playing this at all. Awesome, that was nice of him. Uh, favours, right there. <coughs> I think we have to play the cleric out here. We must cleanse the sun well. Stuff again, really. My shield for Argus. Push forward. So, you know, definite misplays from our opponent there. Obviously it's annoying leaving him with the spell power dude, but just gotta get the demolish off the board there. Your magic shall not save you. Um, some walkers obviously not that good against mage, as the divine shield never does anything. 
Ah, but he's just wasted his turn by arcane intellecting there. Truth is my shield. For justice! Uh, not even going to waste my weapon on a 3-1 there. I'll let the 4-2 take it out. So he's got a hand like full of fireballs and polymorphs and stuff like that, and the stealth particularly good at just wasting his turn. So we're definitely throwing out an owl here because that could quite possibly be uh, a mirror entity there. No, well, it's not. So it's going to be a Vaporize, so with that in mind I want to have a minion in play. For justice! Reporting for duty. At the start of the turn. I'm going to skip uh, attacking just for this turn, just to play around Vaporize. The battle! Awesome, and it's Ice Barrier. <laughs> For justice! Well, he would have snap cast a, a, a flame strike if he had one. Someday I'll be just like you. Behold the 
the might of storm wind to battle. <laughs> Reporting for duty. There is a flame strike. But, unfortunately for him. Reporting for duty. Doesn't really help him out here. Magic shall not save you. Reporting for you. We got there eventually. Mages never, never let you kill them fast. <laughs> so you know, I mean, there are a few ways of building this paladin deck. They're all pretty fast, but you got a lot of flexibility with the the cards you're offered. You know, you don't have to take blessing of might, but you can see how you can use it absolutely fine here. Even the Hand of Protections, you know, have their place if you build the rest of your deck correctly. Help you just to uh, keep hold of the tempo. Uther versus Jaina! You asked for it. I will fight with honor. Obviously, what we don't want to see is uh, water elementals. Those will be the cards that beat us up pretty badly. Well, at least we've got a couple of plays now on turn two and three. They're not the greatest Hello? plays, but. <laughs> well met. So I'm playing this guy out to more efficiently use my mana that turn. He still trades with the 2-2. Two -two. the sun well. So, uh, as you can see, divine protection's pretty good against us. Forward. The battle. 
Careful! Yeah, this is this is how mages should build their deck sort of very fast. And finally, we get an answer. What justice? Yeah, we'll stick a blessing of wisdom on his three one there. Stop it from attacking. So we finally uh, halted this rush from the mage. Now we get to beat up all of his guys. I'm going to do that so that if he has a flame strike, um, it doesn't wreck my side of the board as much. <coughs> Ready, sir. Someday I'll be just like you. But as it is, he doesn't, so we now get to beat him up. For justice. So I'll give him a flame strike as an out, but what I don't want to do is give him a fireball as an out because he could attack me for three and two. And then one with that, that would be six, a fireball would be twelve, and that's my life total, so I'm just playing around him having a fireball wall or fireball boss there. Reporting for duty. Don't 
Wow, incredible. The one card. It gets him back into the game there. And of course I draw the one card that's absolutely no use to me as well. Awkward. I was really considering holding back on the ball and I thought, well, I've got to try and kill him this turn. Mm. Amazing. Just crazy stuff. Yep, and that's going to give him the game, unfortunately. <laughs> or maybe not. Oh, this is ridiculous. Unbelievable. Three absolutely useless cards in this situation. <laughs> Well played. Yeah, nothing I can do, so... You know, it sucks, but there you have it. Uh, three dead draws. So awesome starting hand here against Warlocks. See if we can get this Voodoo Doctor to uh, stick on the board for a turn. If it does, we are good to go. Get in there and fight, maggot! Uh, apparently not. So our hand just got a lot worse because of that. And that is why. Reporting for duty. But we can uh, coin out a true silver champion next turn anyway. We definitely have to take out the two three. For justice. And the three five also survives uh, soul fire as well, which is good. <coughs> and this is great. Yeah, loving this now. Oh. <sighs> 
I am not a morning person. Good play on his part there. So we will go ahead and probably have to take out the imp here, to be think. honest. Seems solid enough. I hear you got a problem. I got the best deals anywhere. So the plan is just to buff up the 7-5 next turn with the Defender of Argus and offer some protection to the knife juggler as well. Nice, very nice. For justice. Reporting the for Behold the might of storm wind. Well, he's got his taunts, but it's not enough for him, unfortunately. For justice. Thank you. And unfortunately stuck going second against them. 
Um, you know what? We're gonna keep all this Voodoo Doctor and just play it out turn one to waste his turn two. If he makes a one three, I'm gonna cry. Someone call for the doctor. So now he might have made something like a 3-2 himself, or a 2-3 or something like that. He'll just use the shoot my 2-1 instead. Don't mess with Tusker. Which allows us to get the, the center of the board for a turn. Must cleanse the sun well. And there's good old water elemental. Luckily, we've got the blessing of might to take it out this turn. Oh, even better. <laughs> even better favors there. my way to victory here by the looks of things. I'm gonna wisdom up the smaller guy. Push forward. Uh, so that if he has a removal spell, he's obviously going to point it at the 3-3 three, three instead of the 6-4, the which is kind of what I want. So he's got multiple blizzards so far, I think that's the second one we've seen. So he's doing very well with his rares there. So this is quite possibly the most uh, AoE I've ever seen a mage have. Guy's gonna die next turn. Let's just go ahead and 
take it out with that. And I have to unlight all the, all the one toughness guys against the mage here in the top half of my deck, so that's why I'm struggling. Reporting for duty. The battle! At least we get to take out his big guy because of that now. Could just go to his face here for 16, you know. For justice! The battle! Report the battle! Protection. We're going to lose that race <laughs> if we do that. Behold the might of storm wind. <laughs> the battle. The battle! For justice! Don't Reporting for so we are going to go to his uh, face at this point, silence the next uh, taunt he does. And just try and beat him up with this true silver champion before he beats us up with his fireballs. <laughs> So, it's up to him to kill me this turn. Fireball will do it. Or two frost bolts. And he's got it, so. Hello. We gave ourselves a chance to win there, but just that one point of damage off. Uh, which is actually pretty good, uh, given the huge amounts of uh, AoE he had there. It was a pretty ridiculous deck. Um, it's actually one thing I've talked about on the forums is that I think probably Blizzard, the card, is probably needs a nerf. You know, it, it is a rare, but it just feels really powerful. You know, so he gets to do two damage, which is pretty much the same as Paladin's Consecrate and um, Holy Nova for the Priest. But that ability to just stop all their guys attacking for a turn of, as well just makes it a, a bit too powerful for my liking. Especially when you can see you've got Flame Strike at seven, so you, you can't really commit too many more minions to the board because you risk getting uh, blown out a lot of the time there. I'm just going to play it out, you know, I've got another one, I've just got to go, well, if you've got a bow, you've got a bow. Uh, I don't have anything else. Turn two, so I can't risk putting a 1-1 one, one out there and then him coining into a big guy. And 
Hand of Protection acts as another 3-2. You know, it's the same as using your 3-2 to kill his 3-2 and then playing another one out for 2 mana. So I was going to play the Shield Master out, but playing this out is much better here. You don't want to let a Hunter start his turn with a Beast in play. Like, just don't let it happen. You know, get his Beasts off the board, as it really stops him from playing Hound Masters and stuff like that. So again, same thing, just keep his beasts off the board. So I'm just playing all this out because we've got the Stormwind Champion next turn. Put this apple on your head. <laughs> Summoning portal open. Behold the might of Stormwind! The battle! Don't be frightened to silence your own guy. Could have, could have done that to beat up his 5-5 five five there, but it doesn't matter. There's nothing else he can do with his 5-5. Five five. It's not a beast. So obviously I want to keep my guy out of his bow range because he's pumping up all of my other minions. I mean, if he gets an explosive shot, he gets an explosive shot, but... For 
Careful! Sucks! For justice! The gates are open. For justice! The battle! Oh. Sucks. Reporting yeah. to Why? Just me and Mr. Bite! So, this one is over. Justice shouts again. Sucks. The Eels. battle. Why? For justice. Eight and two, uh, recovered nicely. Don't really care what happens in the last game now. Uther versus Valera. Watch your back. I will fight with honor. Uh, so going second, keep hold of the hunter, lob the others back. Blessing the king's not very useful going second. So we get to go like double Razor Fen Hunter and True Silver Champion. So we're just trying to get to a position where our weapons can dominate the board now. Might as well throw one out there since I'm gonna make a Stranglethorn Tiger the next turn. Yeah, we definitely we need it for the tempo. You know, so it, like even if he's got an ooze, we just have to suck it up there. For justice! Because um, we can't afford to just like make a 1-1 one -one or something on the turn. It's just a really horrible use of our mana. And we can afford to lose the card because, you know, this is just about survival now.
Truth is my shield. For justice! So by killing the 2-2 rather than the 2-3, it means he can't take out my 4-5 without some help on his turn. So it just slows his tempo down a little bit. But, you know, always has the answers. Nice draw there, really, really lucky draw, gives me a chance to get back into this game. <laughs> you see just how much it sucks going second when your opponents build the decks properly. Let the pain speak to me. Yeah, you know, we are yet to start the turn with a minion in play. Mm. This is all what we want against a rogue. You know, but he just won't let it happen. Enter the shadows. Well, needed a bit of luck there, didn't get it, so we're going to lose this one, unfortunately. And... not sure there's anything we can do about it. So obviously going to hold on to the Stormwind Champion because of his 1-1 one, one with stealth. Wow, just amazing. Just this guy is unbelievable. You know, draws all these small minions at the start of the game and then he's like, oh, I really need a big guy now. Oh, look, there's a big guy. <sighs> Absolutely crazy. That was a mistake from him, though. Should have just attacked me at that point in the game. You know, I would have been dead there if he just really attacked me for four last turn. I'm not sure I could have stopped the last couple of points of damage. So many options. Crazy. Just always got the answers. Now he gets to take my 6-6 six, six out.
to the Sindora. Wow, lucky me. I get my own back on him. The might of storm Reporting for duty. Very lucky draw there. Uh, I mean, I had a few cards, obviously, another uh, True Silver Champion was in there, and uh, Blessing of Might would have done it as well, had two of those. Give me a quest. <laughs> and finally he draws a bad card. I mean, of course, you know, he's still got uh, plenty of time to get back into this the game. Battle. Reporting for duty. Oh, I had to work so so hard just as I, I still think he made play I was there. I think if he'd if his four one had attacked me and then his five five tiger had attacked me. Um He'd have put me to like uh, two or three life then and can just finish me off with his weapon, so. Um, well, they'd have put me to one, in fact. So, you know, I definitely think there were some play errors from him. Um, I shouldn't have been allowed back into that game, you know, he had such a ridiculous start. I mean, I had a really strong start because those, uh, like, stuff like Harvest Golem and um, the. Uh, the hunter with the boar, they're really good against rogues because you're giving yourself more targets that he has to deal with, you know, because he's using stuff like uh, backstab and things like that that go card for cards so when you're producing multiple minions. Um, and then you had the two true silver champions. So 225 gold. Um, and I had to play the champion. I had nothing else to do that turn. There was, there was nothing on the board, and the plan was true silver champion. Hopefully, kill whatever he plays next turn and play a five-five tiger in stealth. As it is, you know, he had the ooze. Uh, and then how I had to play after that changed because of it. But from a tempo point of view, I couldn't afford not to do that. Um, Savannah High Main's okay, I guess. Um, Hunters might well play it. And Keeper of the Grove definitely will see some play uh, in Druid decks. I think it's a very solid guy, this guy. <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, thanks for checking the video out. And, um, someone, you know, on the forums, uh, and the official forum said, oh, you know, I'm pretty certain Ribbo only uploads his good videos. I'm pretty certain I upload them all, and you can tell that from um, the amount of gold I sort of uh, finish each video with and start it with. Like, the only times I don't actually upload the videos I record is when a friend comes around to visit, or, you know, the server crashes or something like that. It's just pretty much gonna upload them all so yeah yeah I am just getting seven eight and nine wins on every video I make you know it's not a case of me hiding any from you and uh, I also upload all the videos where I make horrible plays there was um, <laughs> one about three videos back with, with just a hilarious play on it it's really bad if you've not seen it maybe you can go back and have a, have a look through for that one you'll love it when you see it, it involves a wild pyromancer and uh, a coin. <laughs> anyway guys, uh, thanks for checking out this video and please um, click the like button if you have watched it through to the end. If only to piss off that one guy who clicks dislike on all my videos five minutes after they come out. Until next time, ta -da.